Mark chapter 9, beginning of verse 1. Mark small in verse 1. And Jesus said to them, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, there are some of those who are standing here who will not taste the experience that before they see the kingdom of God after he has come with power. Por isso, dizia eles ainda, em verdade vos afirmo que, dos que aqui se encontram, há alguns que de maneira nenhuma passarão pela morte até que, ter, até que vejam ter chegado com poder o reino de Deus. Amen. So this was a very serious uh, promise from the Lord. Foi uma promessa bem séria do Senhor. And I believe it, it was fulfilled in this chapter. Eu creio que foi cumprido nesse capítulo. Verse 2. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him, and led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. Seis dias depois, tomou Jesus consigo a Pedro, Tiago e João, e levou-os a sós à parte para um alto monte, foi transfigurado diante deles. After six days, de seis dias, they had six days to think of what God had spoke to them. Before there would be a fulfillment of the promise. Antes que houvesse um cumprimento da profecia, da promessa. Do not despair because that God has promised you something and it hasn't happened yet. Não se desespere se Deus te prometeu algo que não aconteceu ainda. Sometimes God Actually, often God will allow a period of time before that promise is fulfilled. Em grande frequência, Deus permitirá um período de tempo antes que aquela promessa seja cumprida. And the longer you wait for the promise to be fulfilled, the more precious it will be when it happens. E mais, a maior a quantidade de tempo você espera que as promessas sejam cumpridas, mais abençoado que será. He took three men up this mountain. It is like that God singled out these three men. There may be many reasons, but one of the reasons is they would be the future leaders of his church. And also they would suffer greatly for the cause of Christ. But now Jesus would reveal something of his glory to them. And if you check Peter's one of Peter's epistles, he says he never forgot this. Something happened in his Christian life that would that would stay with him for the remainder of his life. Algo aconteceu na vida cristã dele que permaneceria com ele pelo resto da vida cristã. There will be moments if you walk with God which will be so special that you will never forget them. Terão momentos que você se caminhará com Deus que serão tão especiais que você jamais os esquecerá. There will be meetings that you attend that you will never forget. Cultos que você atenderá que você jamais esquecerá. You will feel the power And it's like as if nobody else is there, but God is speaking to you alone. Jesus tucked them up the mountain, and if you read Luke's account, it says he tucked them up the mountain to pray. If you want intimate moments with God, you must set aside time to be alone with God. Momentos íntimos com Deus, você tem que estabelecer tempo sozinho com Deus em oração. What a privilege when Jesus called these three men up a mountain to pray. Que privilégio foi quando Deus os chamou para orar. When God calls you, quando Deus te chama, don't delay. Não demore. When God calls you to pray, quando Deus te chama a orar, don't delay. Não demore. Don't miss this glorious opportunity. Não perca essa oportunidade gloriosa. It says in Luke that as Jesus prayed, he was transfigured. E assim que Jesus orou, foi transfigurado. 
As he prayed, assim que orou, the glory of God came down upon him. Glória de Deus desceu sobre ele. And you can have moments like these in prayer. Você pode ter momentos assim em oração. They are special. São especiais. It's like as if the world recedes. Como se o goes back. Como se o mundo regressasse. And heaven comes down. O céu descesse. Then you feel you are so close to God. Amen. Let's continue. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. As suas vestes tornavam-se resplandecentes e sobremodo brancas, como nenhum lavandeiro na terra as poderia alvejar. Next verse, please. And there appeared before them Elijah and Moses who were talking with Jesus. Então apareceu Elias com Moisés e estava ali falando com Jesus. The dead are alive. Os mortos estão vivos. Those believers who died in Christ are alive. Os crentes que morreram com Cristo estão vivos. Elijah and Moses had left the earth thousands of years before. Elias e Moisés tinham saído da terra mil anos atrás. But now Peter, James and John see them talking to mas agora Pedro, Tiago e João eles nos vêm falando com Jesus. Dead, dead are alive. Os mortos são vivos. Amen. And someday we are going to join them. E algum dia nós nos reuniremos com eles. Death for the believer is a doorway into glory. A morte para o crente é uma porta para a glória. Your spirit will be alive, worshiping Jesus Christ in heaven. E o espírito será vivo adorando a Jesus em oração no céu. Every day brings you closer to that moment. Todos os dias se levam mais próximo desse momento. Moses and Elijah were talking to Jesus, and it says they were talking about his death. Moisés e Elias estavam falando com Jesus a respeito da sua morte. And what he would accomplish through it. O que ele realizaria através disso. This is what Jesus wants us to talk about. Isso que Jesus quer que a gente converse. Imagine Moses and Elijah. They Imagine. have this opportunity. Imagine Moisés e Elias, eles têm essa oportunidade. And the one topic of conversation is the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. O único tópico da conversa é do Senhor Jesus Cristo, da sua morte. In eternity, na eternidade, you will see the Lamb who was slain. Você verá o cordeiro que foi massacrado. His blood has been preserved forever. Seu sangue foi preservado para sempre. The blood that atoned for every sin you committed. O sangue que expiou para todos os pecados que cometeste. Was miraculously preserved and brought to heaven. Foi milagrosamente preservado lá no céu. And it's still as powerful as ever. Continua tão poderoso assim. That's what Moses and Elijah were talking to Jesus about. Sobre isso que Moisés e Elias estavam falando com Jesus. Amen. Next verse. Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Então Pedro, tomando a palavra, disse, Mestre, bom é estarmos aqui, e que façamos três tendas. Uma será tua, outra para Moisés, e outra para Elias. Man, it is good for us to be here. É bom que a gente esteja aqui. But not to stay here. Mas não que permaneça. There's a world out there that needs you. Tem um mundo lá fora que necessita de você. What they need is the message of the gospel from you. Que necessitam da mensagem do evangelho de você. We spend our time worshiping God. Nós passamos o nosso tempo adorando a Deus. But there comes a time when we must go out and reach the lost. With the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Chega uma época que a gente tem que sair e alcançar as almas perdidas com o evangelho. It is good for us to be here. Bom que estejamos aqui. But not to stay here forever. Mas não que permaneçamos aqui para sempre. God has a purpose for your life. Deus tem um propósito para a tua vida. There are people that will depend on hearing the gospel from your lips. Tem pessoas que dependerão de ouvir o evangelho dos teus lábios. You will hear that cry come over to Macedonia and help us. The world needs Jesus Christ. And the church are his hands and his feet. He is the head and he directs the body. It's good. Que estejamos aqui. But not to stay here forever. Não que 
you to do. Deus tem uma obra para você fazer. God has a purpose for your life. Tem um propósito para a tua vida. Amen. You receive here. Você recebe aqui. But you must give out. Mas você tem que dar aqui. What you have received. Lá fora o que recebeu. You must share. Tem que compartilhar. What God has given you. O que Deus tem te dado. Amen. Next verse, please. He did not know what to say. They were so frightened. E ele não sabia, na verdade, o que dizer, pois estavam eles aterrados. Amen. We have all been in that position. Temos todos nós estado nessa posição. We don't know what to say. A gente não sabe o que falar. We fear men. A gente tem os homens. But let's see what Jesus did. Mas vamos ver o que Jesus fez. Then a cloud appeared and covered them, and a voice came from the cloud. This is my son, whom I love. Listen to him. A seguir, veio uma nuvem que os envolveu, e dela uma voz dizia, Este é o meu filho amado, a ele ouvi. The cloud came. A nuvem chegou. But you know, sometimes a cloud brings good news. Às vezes uma nuvem traz boas notícias. We don't like to be in the cloud. A gente não gosta de estar nela. We cannot see the future. Não dá para enxergar o futuro. And we, we are frightened that the cloud is covering us. Assustados e a nuvem está nos cobrindo. Brother, sister, there's a voice that speaks in the cloud. Irmãos e irmãs, tem uma voz que fala na nuvem. God will not forsake you. Deus não te desamparará. He will speak to you even in the cloud. Falará com você até mesmo na nuvem. And he will point to his son. Ele apontará o seu filho. And he will say, listen to him. Ele dirá, escute a ele. You're listening to many voices in these days. Está escutando bastante vozes nesses dias. Listen to God's Son. Ouça a voz do Filho de Deus. God the Father is well pleased with Him. Deus o Pai se agrada muito. And if you hear the voice of Jesus, you don't need another voice. Se ouvir a voz de Jesus, você não vai necessitar de outra voz. Suddenly, when they looked around, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. De relance, olhando ao redor, a ninguém mais viram com eles, senão Jesus. Amen. Before that, it says in Matthew about this incident. Antes disso, fala em Mateus sobre esse incidente. That Jesus came to them. Jesus chegou até eles. And touched them. Os tocou. And said, arise. Falou, levantem-se. Don't be afraid. Não fique com medo. Amen. Jesus coming to his frightened disciples. Jesus chegando aos seus discípulos assustados. And touching them. E os tocando. There's something wonderful about the touch of Jesus. Tem algo maravilhoso sobre o toque de Jesus. You've experienced it before when you were so down and depressed. Já experimentou outra hora quando eu estava deprimido e desanimado. And God, most times through His Word, will touch you. Deus, a maioria do tempo, através da sua palavra, te tocará. And he will lift your spirits. Ele levantará os teus espíritos. And the cloud will disappear. E a nuvem desaparecerá. I hope you feel the touch of Jesus tonight in this meeting. Espero que consiga yeah. sentir o toque de Jesus esta noite. It's precious. Precioso. And he said to his disciples, don't be afraid. Ele diz aos seus discípulos, não tem. When the cloud disappeared, so did Moses and Elijah. Sumiu, Moisés e Elias também. And all they could see was Jesus only. Tudo que dá para enxergar é somente Jesus. Okay, so let me say this to you. Então, deixa eu te dizer isso. You may think it would be great with Moses and Elijah. Talvez você pense que seria ótimo com Moisés e Elias. When the, you think it great when the glory was there. Quando a glória estivesse lá. But when everything disappears, Quando tudo some, Jesus is still there. Jesus ainda está lá. And Jesus is all you need. Ele é tudo que você precisa. When your friends disappear, Os teus amigos somem. Jesus is all you need. Jesus é tudo que necessita. When the relationship breaks up, o namoro acaba. Jesus is all you need. Jesus é tudo que necessita. If Corona comes and we cannot meet, se o Corona vir chegar, a gente não pode se encontrar.
Jesus only. Jesus only. His sacrifice only. Seu sacrifício His only. blood only. Seu sangue His only. salvation only. Sua salvação. No other religion. Nenhuma outra religião. No other philosophy. Nenhuma outra filosofia. No other name. Nenhum outro nome. Jesus only. Jesus only. We worship Him. Adoramos we adore Him. Him. And we will serve Him. Why, why this wonder? 
Because I believe something of the glory of God was shining on his face like Moses came down from Mount Sinai. Eu creio que algo da glória de Deus estava brilhando no rosto dele, nem como Moisés desceu do monte. And the people saw something. As pessoas conseguiam ver algo. And they came to him. E foram até ele. The man next first, please. Ah, sim. What are you arguing with them about? She asked. Então ele interpelou os escribas. Que é que discutem com eles? Is there an argument in your home? Tem uma briga na tua casa. Is there an argument in your home? Tem uma briga lá. Is there an argument in your family? Tem uma briga na tua família. And Jesus wants to heal that. Jesus quer curar isso. What are you arguing about? He said. O que vocês estão brigando? Man, he brings peace into a troubled situation. Ele traz paz para uma situação angustiada. He brings peace into a troubled marriage. Um casamento angustiado. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Jesus é o príncipe da paz. He can bring peace into your family. Consegue trazer paz para a tua família. Invite him in through prayer. Convide-o através da oração. Amen. Next verse. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son who is possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. E um deles da multidão respondeu. Mestre, trouxe-te meu filho, possesso de um espírito mudo. There was a real problem. Houve um problema real. With this boy. Com este menino. Uh, next verse, please. A man, uh, whenever it sees him, it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. I asked his disciples to drive out the spirit, but they could not. E este, onde quer que o apanha, Lança-o por terra e espuma, rilha os dentes e vai definhando. Roguei a teus discípulos que o expelissem, mas eles não puderam. The devil was at work in this boy's life. And the disciples could do nothing. Os discípulos não conseguiam fazer nada. Because Jesus was not with them. E Jesus não estava com eles. It's good to realize how weak we are without him. Bom que a gente perceba como fracos nós somos sem Ele. I tell you sincerely, eu digo sinceramente, this church will accomplish nothing without Jesus Christ. Esta igreja não realizará nada sem Cristo. And no matter how gifted or talented you are, without Jesus, you will accomplish nothing yeah. in the spiritual kingdom. Não importa o quão dotado ou talentoso você seja, você não realizará nada sem Jesus Cristo. These disciples were trying their best. But they were failing. Esses discípulos estavam fazendo o seu melhor, mas estavam falhando. Okay, uh, we have the answer in the next verse. Thanks. You unbelieving generation, Jesus replied. How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. Então Jesus lhes disse, ó oh, geração incrédula, até quando estarei convosco? Até quando vos sofrerei? Trazei-me. I don't want to hear Jesus saying to me or to you, how long will I put up with you? Brother, sister, how long will you keep com committing that sin? Is Jesus saying to you tonight, how long will I put up with you doing that? You know it's wrong. You're faithless. You don't believe Jesus can deliver you from this. Then Jesus says, bring him to me. There is your answer. Bring him to me. That person in your family that's not converted. Bring him to me. That problem. Bring him to me. Bring him to Jesus Christ. In prayer. Bring the problem to him. To the King of Kings. To the Lord of Lords. He speaks the word and it's done. Bring him to me, said Jesus. You try to do it without me. And you fail. And you're losing the battle. And the world is mocking you. 
attract someone. Bring them to me. Bring them to me. Church, Jesus is here tonight. Jesus is speaking to you tonight. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. He's the king. He's the Lord. His name is higher than any other. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I remember God speaking that word to me. Many years ago, about my son DJ, my new filho. Amen. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. D DJ has autism. DJ has autism. And as a parent, you worry. And I, I was concerned. And God spoke to me twice. The first thing that Jesus said to me was, where is your faith? God has, has allowed a situation in your life. And you think there is no way around this. And Jesus says, where is your faith? That's the first thing Jesus said to me. And the second thing was, bring him to me. Amen. And tonight, DJ is translating. I don't know how it happened. But, you know, I remember a certain conversation in the kitchen. DJ had started learning Portuguese. DJ doesn't, DJ doesn't like school, let me tell you. <laughs> Don't mention the S word to DJ. But he had started learning Portuguese. And then one day in the kitchen, he, he says, uh, I'm not going to learn Portuguese anymore. And in my head, I said, I have to think very quickly here. And I said, DJ, you know those beautiful Brazilian girls? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I love Portuguese. <laughs> and I tell you, it worked. <laughs> Notice this. Jesus was about to deal with the problem. But it got worse. Mas piorou before Jesus answered. And sometimes you are praying for something, the problem gets worse. I've had situation pior. And many people say to me, I, I pray, but it's getting worse. Should I give up praying? I always say, I think the answer is much closer than you realize. The devil does not give up easy. The devil does not give up easy. Let me tell you, 40 years I've learned that. He will fight till the last second. So don't give up in that person you're praying for. Even though it seems the situation has got worse. The devil knows his time is short. Amen. Jesus asked the boy's father, How long have you been like this? From childhood, he answered. 
Há quanto tempo isso lhe sucede? E desde a infância ele respondeu. This had gone on a long time. Isso tinha passado muito tempo já. Next verse. It has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. E muitas vezes tem lançado no fogo e na água para o matar. Mas se tu podes alguma coisa, tem compaixão de nós e ajuda-nos. Imagine saying that to Jesus. Imagine dizer isso para Jesus. If you can do anything. Se é que você pode fazer algo. If you can do anything. Se. This is what Jesus replies. If you can, Jesus said, everything is possible for one who believes. Então respondeu Jesus: Se podes, tudo é possível ao que crê. The man said to Jesus, If if you can. O homem disse para Jesus: É, se pode. And Jesus replied to him, If you can. Jesus respondeu a ele: Não, se você pode. There is no if in Jesus. Não existe o se em Jesus. Settle that in your mind. Estabeleça isso na tua mente. There is nothing that God cannot do. Tem nada que Deus não pode fazer. There is no if in our Lord. Não existe se em nosso Senhor. There is no weakness in our God. Não existe fraqueza em nosso Deus. There is no lack of power. Tem falta de poder no todo poderoso. The if is in the church. Se é na igreja. The weakness is in our faith. A fraqueza é na nossa fé. Jesus said, all things are possible to him that believes. Jesus disse, tudo é possível para aquele que crê. We pray to an Almighty God. Oramos ao Deus todo poderoso. And if it is in accordance with His will. Se é de acordo com a sua vontade. If, say, if you can believe, se você pode crer, all things are possible. Tudo é possível. To him who believes. Amen. Brother and sister, let's take that verse home with us tonight. Vamos irmãos, vamos levar esse versículo para casa com nós. Let's meditate on it. Vamos meditar sobre ele. And let's determine to believe that whatever. God is asking us to do. We can do it. Jesus is Lord. Amen. And before we have the break, right, just go to the next verse, please. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Imediatamente, o pai do menino exclamou com lágrimas. Eu creio, ajuda-me na minha falta de fé. Amen. If you want to overcome your unbelief, se quiser vencer a tua incredulidade, you must meditate on the word of God. Você deve se meditar sobre a palavra de Deus. Faith needs something to feed on. A fé necessita que algo alimente. And if you don't spend time coming to church to hear the preaching of the word, se não passar tempo para a igreja, para ouvir a palavra do Senhor, your faith will be weak. Tua fé será fraca. And if you don't study the word of God, se não estudar a palavra de Deus, your faith will deteriorate. Tua fé deterioro. Deterioro. Meditate on the word of God. Meditate na palavra. And it will strengthen your faith. Next verse. When Jesus saw that a crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Vendo Jesus, que a multidão concorria, repreendeu o espírito imundo, dizendo, Espírito mudo e surdo, eu te ordeno, sai deste jovem e nunca mais tornes a ele. Amen. You know, Jesus got rid of a deaf and dumb spirit. Sabe, Jesus tirou o espírito que era surdo e mudo. Amen. We are not deaf to God's voice anymore. Somos mais surdos à voz de Deus. And we are not dumb to not worship Him, praise Him, and proclaim the gospel. Não somos mudos para que não adoramos a Ele, que proclamem o Seu Evangelho. That deaf and dumb spirit has been cast out. Que espírito surdo e mudo já foi lançado para fora. I like what Jesus said. He said, "Come out and never enter Him." 
a guerra de gospel que Jesus falou. Saia e nunca mais entre nele. When Jesus saves, Jesus salva, he saves completely. Salva completamente. Amen. He has saved you from Satan's dominion forever. Ele te salvou do domínio de Satanás para sempre. You are free forever. You are never going back to that slavery of sin. Jesus commanded the Spirit never come out and never return. Amen. So let's take the bread and wine.